in 2004, we had two Christmas movies come out that year. One being The Polar Express, which was a fun, entertaining holiday film for the whole family. And the other being Christmas with the Cranks, which was none of the above. Based on a novel by John Grisham, who is uh, best known for writing courtroom dramas, took a stab at comedy. And the book was originally titled Skipping Christmas, but was changed to Christmas with the Cranks because there was a film starring Ben Affleck titled Surviving Christmas, and they didn't want to sound too confusing with that one. But you should have stuck with Skipping Christmas because I don't think anybody remembers the, the Ben Affleck film. Heck, I hear it barely lasted a weekend in theaters. But I'm, but, but I'm going off a little, sorry. What's Christmas with the Cranks about? The story is about Luther and Nora Crank, played by Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. Their daughter, played by Julie Gonzalo, is named Blair, and she's going off to the Peace Corps and probably won't see them for the Christmas holidays. And of course, they they are very down that their daughter's not going to be there, so Luther comes up with an idea. Let's skip Christmas and go on a Caribbean cruise instead. Nora agrees. But they soon discover that skipping Christmas is not as easy as it looks. As it may seem. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you. This movie was not very good. No, it wasn't. It, the, the jokes don't mesh up. The running... There's a running gag with a frosty thing they put up. Everybody in their block puts up. So, and the the neighbors harass the cranks because they won't put it up. Oh, they just said they were skipping Christmas. And they demand frosting. Luther won't give it to them. Look, you're skipping Christmas anyway. Why would it make a big deal if you do you if you don't give it to them or not? Oh, that made no sense. And. Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis. I am very... I was very shocked because neither, neither one of them were funny. Now, I've seen other films with them and they were... Both of them were good at doing comedy. But what happened here? They just... They looked like they were just... They were struggling in their performances. I don't get it. Now, from what I heard, that Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis really had a ball working with each other and Jamie Lee Curtis stated in an interview if I wasn't already happily married I'd be married to Tim, I'd be happily married to Tim Allen instead <laughs> but she said she states she is already happily married Dan Aykroyd was all right I mean he does put in some effort Julie Gonzalo who later became popular on the show Dallas is just kind of there I don't know she's just not given anything to do just be the daughter. That's all she was there to do. Uh, well, there's one scene I did like. Is when Luther does an un, a very unselfish act. I love that scene. I thought it was touching. But that was the only good scene I liked. And there was another moment where I didn't like at the very beginning where Luther is in the rain and this guy offers him an umbrella but he refuses. But I don't get it. Anyway, I give Christmas with the Cranks a 2 out of 10. Happy Holidays!